Okay, chapter 11, verse 23. It says, The desire of the righteous ends only in good, but the hope of the wicked only in wrath. Now, this is another contrast, saying that the desires of the righteous end in what is good, and the word there for good means good in the widest sense. Anything that you can think of that would be good fits. All right? But the hope, what the wicked want to see happen, ends only in wrath. What is wrath? Anger, yeah. And whose anger do you think we're talking about here? Yeah, the wrath of God. The wrath of God. Chapter 12, verse 13. says, evildoers are trapped by their sinful talk, and so the innocent escape trouble. So evildoers are ensnared by their words, and we see the idea there of trapped or ensnared, and that kind of takes us back to the idea of um, uh, trapping birds by setting a snare for them, and then when the bird steps into that, it's it, they, they're caught by their leg, or it could be uh, some kind of trap that they walk into and they take the bait. Okay, but but once they're in that trap, they're caught. So evil doers are ensnared by their own words. Their own words come back to haunt them. But the innocent, and that word means just or righteous, they don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, chapter 16, verse 13. It says, Kings take pleasure in honest lips. They value the one who speaks what is right. And we've considered this verse before with several topics. But good kings want advisors who are people of honesty and integrity. Right? Um, a, a wise president is going to want who in his cabinet? Honest, truthful people. People of character, right? Yeah. Okay, chapter 17, verse 20. One whose heart is corrupt does not prosper. One whose tongue is perverse falls into trouble. What do you think a corrupt heart means? It's a corrupt heart, and it means distorted passions and desires. Distorted. If something's distorted, what do you think of? Foggy, maybe? Twisted, out of focus, okay, yeah. So it's describing, this is describing a person who lacks integrity, right? Uh, their heart is corrupt, so they do not prosper. Their tongue is perverse, and so they fall into all kinds of problems. 